Hey guys, Bud TV here. We are at Redwood City in California for Super Clutch Car Show, which is hosted by CA Radhouse. It is a uh, combination of European, Japanese, and of course, American builds. So let's go ahead and check out the cars, which is on display in today's event. But before we go, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, comment down and uh, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to click the bell icon, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and check out the cars in today's event for Super Clutch Car Show hosted by CA Rat House. Let's go. So after that short and fun b-roll, we can finally start with our walk around in this show. First on our list is this beautiful uh, Skyline GTR with an RB26 engine. This is a you know very carefully built car, um, good set of wheels, um, nice uh, paint choice. This is uh, somewhat of a gray and uh, gray bluish uh, shade of uh, color for the car very JDM very minimalist if you ask me which is very very interesting for me a lot of uh, Skyline GTRs are really fully packed and um, so many um, upgrades and uh, body kits that they put on which is not of my liking but uh, this uh, GTR really you know caught my attention uh, this is another uh, GTR Skyline uh, that was displayed on the show and uh, you know simple and uh, very creative engine build so let's go ahead and move on to uh, the other lineups and or and the cars on display we have this uh, stock Acura NSX a vibrant red color of paint very simple owner kept it original looking no you know upgrades uh, not much of those aftermarket parts and stuff like that restored it and uh, kept it in this original condition here's another NSX very very uh, clean with its all white color which made the details really pop out 
So these are one straight line of NXXs in uh, today's show. This is another uh, red NSX, which is uh, also has a clean interior, leather wrapped interior, uh, front and rear seats. Also have this very uh, interesting uh, R35 on display. It is uh, a custom color, probably a vinyl wrap on this uh, 35 with a simple interior setup. Very beautiful. I haven't tried one driving. Uh, I haven't tried driving one of these R35s on the road, but hopefully, sometime in the future, if I do have the opportunity to drive one, I, I'll be willing, more than willing, to really, you know, take a test drive and experience it for myself. Very clean exterior. Uh, basic two-tone uh, uh, layout of uh, color from. Uh, the rear and the roof and uh, we have uh, a 2022 Supra over here which is uh, previously I've, I've seen this car in um, Spocom which uh, they also had a display it reads Bastos for uh, you know in Filipino but um, it is very uh, eye-catching um, with the rich red racing red color of the Supra very good uh, body cladding and uh, body kits on display with uh, the Supra and now we have this uh, S15 very clean and simple it's late clean interiors very interesting shirts from CA Radhouse or California Radhouse I wasn't able to buy um, my own shirt because at the time uh, of uh, selling uh, they ran out of uh, sizes um, with what I want to buy and uh, going on continuing on with this uh, walk around is this pristine and very clean um, Integra which is you know an ITR Integra Type R with uh, the uh, Recaro SR3s simple paint simple color which really makes it pop out for me very interesting car and uh, I've, I've spoken to the owner and uh, he is willing to, you know, share his story behind that build. So hopefully in the next uh, couple of episodes, we'll be able to get a chance to talk to the owner about the car. Very, very simple engine setup of uh, a 91 EF. It's a hatchback and it, it has a Monster H22 engine installed on it. Purposely built for, for drag and track use. Nothing special on the exterior or even on the interior. But you have the Monster engine slapped inside this really fun car. Moving on with our walk around in the show of uh, Super Clutch, we have this very interesting group of uh, vehicles. Uh, first, with this uh, Evo Lancer Evo, with all of the body, uh, with all the body kits and the uh, uh, canards installed, um, a wide body. Uh, wide body kits uh, wide body Lancer uh, with all the you know fender f uh, 
I, I forgot the name of uh, the flarings, but it's some sort of uh, uh, makes it, you know, uh, gives you the effect of a wide body uh, drag slash uh, track car, and uh, which is uh, totally uh, looks very good on the Lancer, and we also have that. Um, FK, maybe an FK7 uh, in orange, and besides that, we also have this FK8 Civic Type R, complete with uh, roll bars and uh, a very clean interior. This is, by the way, gutted, which. Uh, gives the vehicle more power because of um, you know being gutted of course putting putting out the excess uh, weight on the car to give it you know additional horsepower you also have this very uh, interesting um, vi um, probably a vinyl wrapped GTR again with a um, aftermarket hood I'm not quite sure about the aftermarket hood what brand it is but it's very very beautiful simple interior carbon fiber uh, racing seats and uh, a very beautiful uh, wing spoiler for that matter we have another um, FK Civic over here which is uh, beautifully or uh, tastefully built body owner shout out to you sir two-tone uh, interiors black and red and it is really an FK8 some type R Also, those wide body fender flares makes it very, very aggressive. Nice interior setup with a black and red combination. And tastefully built engine display. We also have this Nissan. From the looks of it, this is really a track warrior. Very 90s vibe. You see the uh, the seat belts and how it is constructed, and uh, you know the the 90s were really an interesting era for these cars, as uh, they have uh, invented and revolutionized safety. Uh, for vehicles and uh, that really gave uh, you know a lasting or a very interesting um, uh, takeaway and uh, in a way uh, gave it a very interesting uh, twist in how you really put on with the uh, seat belts on most 90s vehicles and this is uh, another uh, uh, Integra a very clean Integra uh, if you ask me um, with uh, w this is one of uh, the Integras that really caught my eye in the in the car show first is the white uh, type R ITR Integra which is really really clean and um, very restored and this is the second Integra that really caught my eye um, it has a, uh, you know, it's it's not all out when it comes with uh, with uh, how it is built. Uh, it is a little bit gutted, to uh, two uh, two seats in front and uh, roll bars, uh, which gives it, you know, uh, a bit more uh, aggressive when it comes to its looks. Now we move on to this uh, 
Mazda uh, RX-7, which is, I'm not quite sure how they call it, but it has a uh, spherical or spherical uh, a glass um, back portion. I'm not quite good with my Mazdas, so for those um, Mazda enthusiasts, you can go ahead and uh, educate me with uh, how it is called, but definitely it is an RX-7. We also have this uh, clean uh, EF wagon, purposely and obviously built like a JDM wagon um, with the wide full on uh, rear view mirrors. It is uh, some sort of uh, coffee or uh, mm, light coffee. Uh, white in color very clean and uh, straight interior and exteriors as well moving on is this uh, Nissan and um, this uh, This car is really one of uh, the vehicles that I really um, spent time in looking. This S13 is really uh, one, one, uh, one of a kind in, uh, in the display. Um, I hope we could also uh, get some more information about this build and also the man and uh, you know man and the man behind uh, the vehicle um, sharing us with his stories and hopefully we could get a hold of him. Um, he's a he's a, a, a good gentleman and um, we I hope that we could uh, do uh, you know uh, schedules or uh, schedule the. Uh, uh, filming off his vehicle sometime soon and hope to get to see him uh, you know up close and uh, get a story behind the car and uh, we also have this beautiful blue Toyota Corolla it has been with uh, uh, with uh, most of the meets that I've been to in the past couple of videos he has been visible with uh, most of the car meets that I have been but uh, this is still very interesting and uh, I would really love to hear the stories about this car and about this build this is uh, really a, a, a labor of love um, for restoring and making uh, modifications in this type of car it really makes you uh, really interested to know what uh, what is the story behind the car and the vehicle and uh, how did this restoration um, started and uh, what was the condition when they started uh, to really work on the vehicle and uh, with this uh, part of our walk around you see some euros of uh, those uh, 3 series and bmws they're also beautiful um, they are also interesting cars in my opinion um, i i am willing and i i have uh, i want to learn more about the story behind those uh, 3 series bmws because they're really nice and uh, when you when you go and get up close to them they're really really interesting cars and this is one one of you know uh, the the most uh, interesting cars that I've seen here uh, it was uh, uh, a, a bad thing it was unlucky for me I wasn't able to talk to the owner um, this is a Mazda RX-7 uh, probably this is somewhere around the 1990 uh, pre-1996 or 1995 if I'm not mistaken but 
um, this is very clean um, fully I'm not quite sure if this one is restored but I doubt but I doubt it based from the looks of it it might have undergone some minor paintwork uh, just to keep it fresh and try to to really just protect the original color of the vehicle the interior is very immaculate and um, you know hats off to the owner for really restoring the vehicle or keeping it really original right from you know the start that that it rolled out of the dealership so um, hopefully I could get to uh, know the owner as well and talk to the owner and uh, hopefully we could get to see you know stories about the, the restorations or how did he manage to really um, uh, preserve the car to you know to that condition it's really really uh, awesome to see those types of 90s cars really in that condition we all we also have this lancia by the way which is a ra rally car and uh, that is also a very interesting vehicle now um i was able to get to see those uh z uh the z group with the 240 fair lady z's and the 280s these are uh, one of the cars that is you know um, very interesting to to learn as well um, these are really beautiful um, chassis and uh, uh, models of uh, of uh, Datsun that I am very interested in learning more about um, Hopefully we could get to uh, talk to the owners, um, share their experiences, what are the hardships and what are the challenges that they had that uh, need to undergo in order for them to really put them or put their cars in a condition where it is really, you know, um, restored in a way. When you see these types of cars, especially along the road and with the condition that they are, which is really awesome, um, it will for sure break your necks. These are really awesome, awesome cars. So guys, that wraps it up for today's video. I hope you guys love it. Um, shout out to uh, CA Red House for a successful event for Super Clutch Car Show. Uh, good thing I was able to come in a little bit earlier so I can see all the cars on display and if you guys love this video just give it a thumbs up comment down below for any questions comments and suggestions and don't forget to subscribe to our channel Bud TV if you have not subscribed to the channel yet and also don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified on our future videos if you want to see more car contents car shows car meets you know DIYs and stuff just subscribe to our channel and also don't forget to follow our social media Facebook Instagram accounts and it this has been Bud TV saying thank you for watching we'll see you on the next episode thank you my battery ran out for my uh, for my light and I hope you can still see me thank you for watching I'll see you on the next episode take it easy God bless everybody